SpaceX's Dragon on its 18th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. That's your live look right now. We are live from the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas at Johnson Space Center. As we mentioned, all of the movement from the Canada Arm 2 is being commanded from ground control teams. They are sending commands from Mission Control Houston to the station's robotic arm, moving that in very small increments as they perform alignment checks along the way. Canada Arm 2 is now in motion, moving Dragon into position. And as I mentioned, those are small and deliberate movements to make sure it remains aligned with the common birth birthing mechanism aboard the International Space Station. Canada Arm is now in a hold, and if you're wondering what you're seeing below, the space station is flying about 259 statute miles over Algeria. Crews aboard the International Space Station see about 16 sunrises and sunsets a day as it moves at about 17,500 miles an hour. Canada Arm 2 is in a hold again as teams conduct some checks and alignments and make sure that Dragon is in the proper position before moving it, at in, before moving it in closer to the space station. Canada Arm is moving once again, making those small movements from Dragon in towards the Harmony module aboard the International Space Station and the common berthing mechanism, which you see towards the top of the screen. Robotics controllers here showing that we are RTL, ready to latch. Teams on the ground have received the green light for the first stage capture. First stage capture is complete and robotics flight controllers are configuring the robotic arm into its limp mode. Limp mode means it won't be imparting any forces on the vehicle. Cannon Arm 2 is now limp and teams are go for second stage berthing. Now that first stage capture is complete, that means four latches have secured Dragon to the space station. Second stage means the arm has gone limp, which the teams have commanded it to do so, and soon the latches will pull Dragon into the common berthing mechanism. We can see that second stage capture is now in progress. We won't see much more movement from Dragon. Teams on the ground are now using 16 bolts. They're called acquired bolts and sometimes referred to as A bolts. And those are more firmly attaching Dragon to the International Space Station. And we have confirmation that Dragon is attached to the International Space Station's common berthing mechanism on the Harmony module. That occurred at 11.01 a.m. Central Time as Space Station was flying over the southwestern Pacific Ocean. Today, later on, the crews will begin to outfit the vestibule, that's the area between Dragon and the International Space Station, and prepare it to be opened tomorrow morning when they will begin accessing the cargo. Dragon will remain attached to the International Space Station for about a month and is currently scheduled to depart on August 27th.